From the mind of Mark Yoshimoto Nemkov. All right, I want to talk about the Bi Fei Li V10 microphone. Bi Fei Li V10. This thing sounds really great. I mean, and I don't even have to, I don't even have to project into it. If I just speak into it conversationally, you still feel that presence to it. It has a beautiful, clear, detailed presence that just pops forward like crazy. I mean, listen to this thing. You could cut through a brick wall with this sound. It really has a nice edge to it, but it's not, it's not overbearing. It feels very present. It feels very modern. This thing definitely has a use for voiceover. Now, let me preface this all by saying that it is a noisier microphone than you may expect. The self-noise on this microphone is a little bit high, but if you notice, right, if you pair it with a noise reduction platform, like I'm using C-Suite CVox, and it's dead silent. You know, something like CVox renders every microphone usable from every era of time. But this brand new modern sound, right? Even though, and I had the same issue with the noise floor on the Earthworks mics, because I think once you kind of get a little bit more um, clearer high-end presence, right? It's picking up more, uh, more hash from the ventilation. So overall, though, it's nothing that CVox can't handle. It's nothing that Hush couldn't handle on the desktop video. And that was the other thing, too. Listening back to the audio recorded at my desk for, for that video, right? The one where I did at my desk. And listening back to it and hearing how clear and present everything was. The tone of that through the phone speakers. And, you know, that, that was really like, I was like, wow. I mean, this is achieving everything you would want in that situation for a content creation situation. Your voice is clear. It's very present. It cuts through. Um, and it sounds great on phone speakers. And let's face it, phone speakers are the oratones of our generation now. And, and truthfully, I mean, you know, it is, it is a little bit horrifying. But, you know, most people, most people who consume content just do it on their phone, listening through the speakers. Not necessarily on earbuds. Not necessarily through um comprehensive, beautiful playback systems in a studio or, or even, you know, through anything that, that resembles like high fidelity uh, playback. Phone speaker. So first and foremost, really, if you are doing uh, YouTube, if you're doing content creation, right, if you're doing anything where your primary audience will be consuming it over the phone, you need something that is going to really be present and really kind of pop out through those phone speakers. But that being said, this is absolutely a sound that you could use professionally in voiceover. I mean, because it's detailed, because it pops, it does have, it does have a little bit of that V shape, you know, like a 416. But it, it's kind of like ranging a little bit like, like a little bit 87-ish. Overall, I think it feels kind of like a TLM 103. But without that giant bottom end presence, that kind of useless bottom end presence. And of course, I can induce that bottom end presence if I just switch on a little bit of Little Labs, little labs Voice of God. And I add that little bit there. Right? So you get more of that little, that radio-ish, that bottom end. And I mean, it's a little bit bigger. And, you know, one thing about that is with that, I can back off it a little bit more and, it, it, and have it sound natural, right? Not so much within the, not so much within the proximity region. Um, and again, if I take it out, right, you feel more of the, um, you feel more of a comprehensive uh, termination of that low end, right? You kind of, you feel where that goes. And if I do this, it just feels like it falls down into, into, into forever. So, I mean, the bottom end, even though it's not giant, even though the bottom end, um, the bump on the bottom end is not as, as much as the bump on the top end. Um, it feels nice. It feels like it sits very well. And you don't, you, again, you don't want your, the bottom end of your recording is most likely the thing that you're going to fight with most in post or in a mix. Um, and so the top end of this, right, even though it's bright ish, it's not, it's not harsh ish. You know, it's not, it's not overly, um, it's not like that ice pick to your forehead that you sometimes, that I sometimes get with my voice on a TLM 103. Um, so the top end boost is there, but it's probably only like five or six dB. It maybe like nine or ten. Um, it's not like an eight to ten dB gain. 
Uh, so yeah, I mean, so you're getting detail, you're getting presence, and you're getting something that <laughs> that is remarkable when you consider that this microphone is eighty dollars, about eighty one fifty currently on uh, Alibaba, and I guarantee you that the price of these microphones will rise as time goes on, as more people discover them. But again, the Bifaley V10, it's a beautiful, uh, it's a beautifully built microphone. I mean, it's solid. It looks really cool and it sounds great. And it's $81. <laughs> I mean, come on, that is crazy. They, you, you know, and like anyone else, I think out there, right? I think, I think the one thing that, um, that unites all of us in the nation is that we're all trying to use our audio skills. We're trying to use um, audio as a, as a means to, uh, to advance the ball, to, to really uh, seek out and, and define and achieve our objectives in life. And so the question always becomes, will this help me get where I want to go? All right, let's look at that question. So what I feel here, when you get this kind of detail, right, when you get this kind of detail, especially for a conversational tone, not necessarily, you know, I'm not talking about promo announcer tone. I'm not talking about basketball season is here. You know, I'm not talking about that. I'm just talking about like what we're, what the vo voice tone I'm using right now, just conversationally. And the ability when you get this kind of detail to kind of emote, right? If you want to, if you want to bring forth like really the emotional nature of what it is that you're talking about, detail is everything right? It's not bottom end. It's not really thick mids so much. I mean, thick mids are nice, but thick mids are also, the, you know, they, they exist to, to be hypnotic in a way. But it's detail. It's the nuance in your voice. It's the ability to capture the little tiny nuances in your voice that really make a recording excel, right? Nobody cares what microphone you use when they're, when they're listening to you, when they're watching you. Nobody really cares, right? People who like microphones care. But the general audience, all they want to know is, how does it sound? Does it sound good? Am I feeling something? Do I get a sense of connection to the audio when I hear it back, right? And I think that when you use a m microphone that is uh, really... Um, and, you know, and that's the thing, these, these new microphones, we're, we're hitting an era where we're seeing these affordable microphones that really deliver. And they're really primarily designed for the content creation, for the voice capture uh, demographic. You know, I don't think, I don't think they're really thinking about, oh, we're going to, th somebody's going to throw a pair of these up over a kit for overheads. They're thinking that somebody's going to put this in a, in a video and and talk into it, or somebody's going to podcast with this, or you know somebody's going to create voice content with it. So these things are kind of designed and really envisioned around that. And as as professional voiceover people, we should be extremely grateful for all the advances, all the new microphones, all the things that have come out that benefit what we do, capturing our voices um, in recordings. So when you get something like this, you know, that, that really feels like, uh, that feels like a much more um, premium uh, piece of kit than, than what your wallet <laughs> is telling you, then that's remarkable. I mean, again, you know, I, I think a lot of us, we do have a prejudice against cheaper microphones, against affordable microphones, because we've all been burned before. <laughs> We've all bought our dogs out there. The microphones that that you feel like are going to do something for you and really don't, you know? And it's even worse when you spend up for a big microphone and you buy something that you that you saved for, that that is a bit of a financial reach for you, you know, and and you get it and it's not exactly what you want. And and um you know, I mean it happens. <laughs> I mean, you know, Abbey Road TG Mike, I'm looking at you. I mean, come on. There is, a, there is a, a, a lot of expectation that comes when you spend up for a microphone. That isn't there when you spend down for a microphone. All, the only thing that you have there, right, when you, spend, when you spend a little bit of money on a microphone to take a chance on it, right? I mean, of course, you'll be disappointed if it's not exactly the, the right thing for you. But it's all upside, baby. You know what I'm saying? It's like you go in with lowered expectations, tempered expectations, let's just say. Not lowered, tempered expectations. 
And when you hear something like this, when you hear the tone of the Bifeli V10, and it sounds like this, you're like, wow, wow. How did they do that? All right. The Bifeli V10. I, I, am, I am just beginning my journey with this microphone. And I'm, I am really excited to, to really imagine the things, the tones I'm, I'm going to be able to capture with this. And even if it just does this one sound, even if it's just a one-trick pony, and most microphones are, especially cardioid-only microphones, they generally do one thing pretty well. But if you can find that one thing, if you can find the one thing, that one special thing that that thing does on you or whatever you're using it on, then that's pretty great. And if you can find it for this price, that's even more awesome. All right, the Bifaley V10. I know a lot of people on the Discord server have been wondering about it. We've been chatting about it <laughs> a lot. Um, so ch come check us out over at uh, the Microphone Assassin After Party on Discord and um, join the conversation. But I got to tell you, this microphone, if the question is, is this microphone worth what you pay for it, the absolute answer is definitely yes. Are you going to get something out of this microphone that you don't get out of the rest of your collection? That I can't answer. All I can tell you is that I plug this thing in and I get this sound through my rig. And it makes me happy. So, Nation, what do you think? All right, bye Faley V10. Leave a comment. Until next time, this is Mark Yoshimoto Nemkov, Fading to Black.